सो नाउ टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट कन्वर्शन मेथड्स इन सी शॉप डॉट नेट एस्पेशली सो वाट आर द कन्वर्शन मेथड्स आर दे सपोज कन्वर्शन मेथड्स आर यूज टू कन्वर्ट फ्रॉम वन डेटा टाइप टू अनदर डेटा टाइप ओके वन डेटा टाइप टू अनदर डेटा टाइप सो हियर सपोज स्ट्रिंग वैल्यू स्ट्रिंग वैल्यू इज दे सो दैट स्ट्रिंग वैल्यू आई वुड लाइक टू कन्वर्ट इन टू इंटीजर वैल्यू सो फॉर दैट पर्पज वी यूज कन्वर्शन मेथड्स ओके सो लेटस डिस्कस अबाउट सम सिंपल एग्जाम्पल हियर I have string that is string s equal to some hundred. When I am keeping double quote any value, integer value or any value, that is called string value. This string value I would like to convert into integer. To convert from string value to integer, in C sharp dot net there are two conversion methods are there. Okay, so the two conversion methods are first one is convert dot to int method and second one is int dot parse method int dot parse method these two methods are converting from string value to integer but what is the main difference between these two convert dot to int and int dot parse i would like to show so for that i am taking here string s equal to 100 string s equal to 100 so string s equal to 100 i would like to convert into integer so to convert from string value to integer we are having two methods convert dot to int and int dot parse so both are able to convert from string value to integer successfully but what is the difference between convert dot to int and int dot parse here i would like to show in this example for that purpose i am taking two methods console dot right line then first time i'll take convert dot 2 into 32 why 32 only so later we will discuss convert dot 2 into 32 of s s only i would like to convert so that's what i have taken next now this time i used to give like this console dot right line now here i am using int dot parse now this time int dot parse of s int dot parse of s then after that after that to stay back to our screen then console dot read when i am giving i am giving here two statements one is convert dot to int and int dot parse so both cases what will happen the result value is display for both statements 100 and 100 because s value is 100 i kept in double quotes that is string value this string value i would like to convert from string to integer value so that i use two conversion methods one is convert dot to int and int dot parse already i told both methods are able to convert that string value to integer so the result is 100 100 in this case not a problem but whenever you are giving here instead of 100 null null okay null so null value i would like to convert into integer value okay so that when i am giving same convert dot to int and int dot parse these two methods so here we are observing clearly what is the difference between these two methods so either convert dot to int 32 is able to convert null value to integer or not or int dot parse is able to convert null value to integer or not we can discuss so convert dot to int 32 purpose 100 values come and whenever you are giving int dot parse then here in this case error will come error will come what error will come value cannot be null value cannot be null error will come because if the value is null int dot parse is not able to convert string value to that means null value to integer okay but if the value is null convert dot to int 32 is successfully convert from null value to integer that's what here zero came okay that's what here first statement for zero and second statement is error that is value cannot be null so that means we can say convert dot to int 32 is able to convert string value to null uh, integer value and also it is possible to convert that is null value to integer value that means zero is coming but when it comes to int dot parse int dot parse is able to convert 
only from string valid integer it is not able to convert null valid integer so rather it raises an error what type of error value cannot be null if value can be null so this cannot be able to convert so in this case it is a failure thing okay now let's talk about here why we are giving convert dot to int 32 only so in general here whenever you are trying to type convert dot to int so intelligence will show here 16 and 32 and 64 so you can give 16 or 32 for integer no problem so according to our input value so according to size of input value you should mention here convert dot to int 16 or 32 or 64 but 16 and 32 is for integer values but you are giving some large values double double uh, kind of values then you need to give convert dot to int 64 only okay according to given input size we need to mention 16 and 32 or 64 whatever you want but what actually what is the situation to convert from one data type to another data type means for example here i'm taking three variables int a comma p comma c so here i'm asking console dot right line console dot right line enter two numbers enter two numbers here user should enter two numbers any two numbers so first value a number a value it will be entered and next second number b value is entered that both values are should be integer right that both values are should be integer but whenever you are trying to input trying to give input as integer but by default console application is treated as all the values whatever you are giving at runtime that is string type only it will treat it as so i don't want to treat it as string type so that i need to convert that string valid integer so just now we talk about for converting from string valid integer we should use two methods any method you can use in this case that's what i'm giving here a value is entered by programmer or user so this is integer value but though if you are entering integer value then console application is treated as by default string so that you should convert that value from string to integer for that purpose i am using convert method convert dot to int 32 of console dot read line and b value also i am using convert dot to int 32 of console dot read line okay then c value and a plus b a plus b finally we need to display the output that is console dot right line sum is sum is plus c to stay back to our screen then console dot read so this is what actually so here in this cases a value and b value is entered by user so is user is entered integer value though user is integer uh, enter integer values but console application is treated as string value by default so that it should not happen so we should convert the string value from string value to integer so that's what i use here convert dot to int and int dot parse convert dot to int method or else you want to use int dot parse you can use not a problem so this is the way to use these conversion methods the difference between convert dot to int 32 and int dot parse means convert dot to int is possible to convert from string value to integer and also it is possible to convert from null value to integer but int dot parse is able to convert string valid integer but it's not possible to convert null valid integer so in this case it raises an error so that is value cannot be null okay right